Hey guys, well as you can see my office looks a little bit different today. Uh, I'm traveling right now, I'm working on my photography business, but I didn't want to leave you guys without any videos, okay? So I made a series for you guys, for you to enjoy, until I get back, alright? See you guys soon, bye. Well guys, we're in the Marvel Designer 7 as you can see, and uh, I loaded up our bed uh, by simply going to File and uh, Import and select OBJ, okay? Now, the reason why this is looking like a wireframe is because of the display options you got when you click on this guy. You can have a, a textured surface, a monochrome surface, or mesh, okay? Now, this is easy on the system, so that's why I like to use this. And that said, let's create some blankets, okay? So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and start with a rectangle. Now, this is our bed from the side view, so I'm just going to pull this out to about here. Uh, let's make sure we have enough cover there. And in our 3D view, we need to put it into place, okay? So we're going to click on it. We're going to use the gizmo to flip it over, like this. And basically get that into place. Not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to this guy and I'm gonna create an internal polygon line. Click on it. I'm gonna hold down the shift key. Click once. Hold down shift, double click on that. And then I'm gonna click once. Hold down shift and double click on that. I'm gonna go up to this guy with my object and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to symmetric pattern which will allow me to put a copy of this guy let's say right here all right let's uh, just close this down here so now what we need to do is make sure that we have the right side up okay so I'm going to move this guy up and what we need to be aware of is what is the top side what is the bottom side okay you can see that these two are facing the same way. So I'm gonna select this guy, not our entire bed. Yeah, it looks like I got the entire bed going on here. We'll just take this. We're gonna select it, we're gonna rotate it over. Like this. And I'm gonna hit the gizmo and push it over here. Now yeah, that's pretty close, okay? So now that we have these two, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine here and let's make sure we're not crossing our lines. So I'm going to go from here to here. And let's check that. Straight lines, which is good. From here to here. Straight lines. There to there. Oops, that one's crossed. There to there. And there to there. So I've got straight lines all around, okay? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in, we're gonna select this guy, and we're gonna look at the pressure setting. There's a pressure down here, we're gonna set this to one, and hit enter. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna hit our simulate button. And there we go. All right. Now, it looks uh, okay, it's a bit small, I guess, and it looks way too straight and nice and tidy and whatnot. So let's uh, tweak that a little bit, okay? We're gonna jump back to our original mode, and every time you do that, it kind of messes things up. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to edit those lines. So I'm going to take this guy. That should definitely help. Let's rotate that a little bit. So that's going to be nice and wide. It's going to cover the entire bed and uh, let's do a new simulation. All right, much better. Okay, so now what you can do is you can basically just take this guy and mess up the bed, okay? 
Now we've got this little thing, this barrier here, and we want to make sure that we're not stuck on that. So this is looking okay. And then you can basically just grab it and pull it like this. And you know, ruffle it up a bit. Make it look like somebody slept in it, right? And that's basically all there's to it. And then, you know, uh, creating the pillows is the exact same process. Two rectangles, stitch them together, a bit smaller, obviously, and you put them in there, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, I sure enjoyed making it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.